Hello and welcome to Feel Good Fridays with Pastor Kristen. Uh, Feel Good uh, Friday doesn't quite seem to fit this week. Um, we all are reeling from yet another school shooting, this time in Uvalde, Texas. Um, and I know that I have struggled to find words uh, to even know what I'm feeling, let alone to offer words of hope and comfort and peace to people who are hurting. Um, so as I went into my office today to kind of figure out what I was going to sing, what I was going to share, uh, a book caught my eye. Um, a Book of Prayers by Walter Brueggemann, an Old Testament um, theologian, called Prayers for a Privileged People. And I saw it and I thought, I wonder, wonder if Walter has words for today. And as wonderful and as heartbreaking as it is, Walter has words exactly for today. Um, because he has a prayer in here um, called Grieving Our Lost Children. This book was published in 2008 uh, and it is about school shootings. And it breaks my heart to think about the fact that it has been even longer than that, that this has been an issue in our country and it feels like we have yet to do anything uh, to try to stop it. Um, not only is there a prayer in this book, but in our ELCA newest worship resource, um, a new hymnal supplement called All Creation Sings, there is there are prayers for um, gathering after there is an, in another episode of gun violence. And while I'm grateful for that resource at times like this, it also breaks my heart that we need to have that resource available. Um, my prayer is obviously for the people who lost their lives, for the families who are grieving those children and those teachers for the families grieving, those who were taken in Buffalo, New York, just a couple of weeks ago, for the children of that school who survived, who will always have this imprinted on their memories for the rest of their lives. Um, but I also pray that we actually do something, that we insist that something be done this time. And so, my prayers are not only for those who are hurting, which I think is all of us, um, but also prayers that God move us to make Uh, this prayer from Walter Brueggemann, and then um, a song. Grieving our lost children. And just a note, I am adding Texas into his list. Another brutality, another school killing, another grief beyond telling, and loss in Colorado, in Wisconsin, among the Amish, in Virginia, in Texas. Where next? We are reduced to weeping silence, even as we breed a violent culture, even as we kill the sons and daughters of our enemies, even as we fail to live and cherish and respect the forgotten of our common life. There is no joy among us as we empty our schoolhouses. There is no health among us as we move in fear and bottomless anxiety. There's little hope among us 
as we fall helpless before the gunshot and the shriek and the blood and the panic. We pray to you only because we do not know what else to do. So we pray, move powerfully in our body politic. Move us toward peaceableness that does not want to hurt or to kill. Move us toward justice that the troubled and the forgotten may know mercy. Move us toward forgiveness that we may escape the trap of revenge. Empower us to turn our weapons to acts of mercy, to turn our missiles to gestures of friendship, to turn our bombs to policies of reconciliation. And while we are turning, hear our sadness, our loss, our bitterness. We dare to pray our needfulness to you because you have been there on that gray Friday and watched your own son be murdered for reasons of state. Good God, do Easter. Here among these families, here and in all our places of brutality. Move our Easter grief now, without too much innocence, to your Sunday joy. We pray in the one crucified and risen, who is our Lord and Savior. Amen. And so as we pray, um, just a song um, about our prayers. Uh, you may know it. It's called Lord Listen to Your Children Praying. And I think one of the things that I love about this song for this particular time and space is that it asks that God send us love and grace, but that God also send us power. Um, and I think right now <laughs> um, we need God's spirit in this place. We need God's love and grace, but we also need God's power um, to make the change that we need to see in this world. spirit with you in these days and may you be filled with God's love with God's grace and with God's power God loves you and so do I have a great day everybody <laughs>